Hello Bay Trailers, this is Mr. Griffin in the library. Today's lesson is on how to put together your bibliography page for a research project. The lesson assumes that you've collected all of your resources already and have filled out the colored source cards like you see in front of you right now. The first step is just to put all of your source cards in a stack. The order does not matter right now. Um, just put all of them in a stack, make sure they're all filled out properly. Um, and I want to point out that at the bottom of every source card, there is an example of how that citation should appear when you type it out. And that's different depending on the type of source you have. Make sure you look at the bottom of each source card for an example of how to type it in. The second step is to open up Microsoft Word and just simply type the word bibliography up at the top of the page move down two spaces, and then just type in the citations off of your source cards. And what's nice here is that it does not matter the order that you type them in. You don't have to worry about line spacing or indentations or anything right now. Just simply type all of them in and you know move down to a new line after the end of each citation. You'll see in this example here, um, under the line that says Poetry Foundation, Microsoft Word tries to be helpful and automatically turns our URL into a link. We don't want that because we don't want it blue, we don't want it underlined. So when Microsoft Word does that to you, just point at the link, right click on it, you'll get a little pop-up menu, and on that pop-up menu one of your options says remove hyperlink. Click on that, and it will take out the blue text, it will take out the underlining, and just make it plain old text. Once you've typed in all of your citations, you're going to highlight all of the citations, and then up at the top left of the screen, you're going to go to Format. Under Format, look for Paragraph. And when the Paragraph window comes up, in the middle, there's an area for indentation. There's a special drop-down menu. You're going to choose Hanging Indent. And that means that the second and third lines of any citation will be indented, but not the first one. That's a kind of a special way that you do all of your citations. And then in the third area that says Spacing, you're going to choose Line Spacing Double. Bibliography pages should always be double spaced. Click OK. And now your citations are all double spaced. The second and third lines are indented, which is what we want. And then the last step is we can have Microsoft Word um, alphabetize all of the entries for us. With all of the citations still highlighted, go to the Table drop down menu up at the top of the screen. Under Table, find sort, click on sort, and when the window comes up just leave all of the options as they are and click OK. And it uh, automatically organizes all of your citations um, alphabetically for you by the first word of each citation. So now we can see that it goes Costello, Kirk, Poetry Foundation, and Struthers. And that's it. You now have your bibliography page filled out. Um, so just to review the lesson, you want to first stack up all of your source cards um, and remember that the order does not matter right now. The second step is look at the bottom of each source card to see an example of how that citation should look when you type it out. The third step is to type all of your citations into Microsoft Word don't worry about spacing, indents, or the alphabetical order yet. The fourth step is remove any of the hyperlinks that Word automatically created for you. And then the fifth step is highlight all of your citations and then um, go to the Format drop-down menu, choose Paragraph, choose Hanging Indent and Double Line Spacing, and then go to the Table drop-down menu, um, choose sort and then just click OK on the sort window that comes up and then that's it. Your bibliography page is done. 
make sure you save it and print it out. If you need any help or have questions on this, just re-watch the video or ask your teacher. Take care. Have a great day.